Right guys, welcome to Football and Fitness United, Manchester United 3, Charlton Athletic nil, and we are through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. And listen, is it going to be Eric Ten Hag's first trophy? We hope so. Was it as easy as expected? No. A lot of changes for Manchester United today. Uh, interesting selection, Kobe Minu coming into the team. Uh, a lot of big changes at the back. It was really interesting, to be honest. I predicted a heavy win as soon as I saw the team sheet. It was never going to be that easy. So let's go through it. First half, Anthony, excellent goal. Anthony does what Anthony does, right? We all know he's got the capability of doing that. Going down the right wing, cutting in on his left foot, absolute screamer, bent in the far corner, top corner, top bins, superb from Anthony. Didn't do it often enough, actually. Had another shot, which was close, but needs to trouble the defender more, but excellent finish from Anthony. And then you think, push on. You know, we've got them on the ropes. Their fans were good, by the way. Shout out to Charlton. They were combative all over the pitch. The fans were very good, very loud. And yeah, shout out to Charlton for a League One team that are halfway down the league. They put up a fight at Old Trafford tonight, so fair play to them. Half time, 1 0. Comes into the second half, 60 minutes gone, makes a few changes. Uh, Rashford comes on, Casemiro comes on. There's a couple of other changes as well. And really, you think, right, that's the time to go and get it. And we just didn't. We didn't create enough. All the people that came in, McTominay came into the team today, sloppy. Casemiro came into the team when he came off, bit sloppy. Ericsson, bit sloppy. Rashford wasn't up to scratch early on and you're just thinking, God, this is going straight to penalties, you know. There's no extra time and they nick a goal at the end. They had a couple of free kicks and you think, oh God, it's just not going our way. Step forward, star boy. Step forward, local lad. Step forward, Marcus Rashford. Absolutely superb. That's seven and six for Marcus Rashford now. Marcus Rashford, I've said it before, is going to get an injury because he is carrying this Manchester United team. And I cannot wait for the Manchester derby on Saturday because Marcus Rashford is born to play against that style of pep team. Marcus Rashford is going to be a big, big threat come Saturday. He's in the form of his life. He's in the goal-scoring form of his life. Happy for him. First goal, absolutely excellent finish. Second goal, superb on the left foot. He's just awesome at the moment. And Manchester United are a completely different proposition with Marcus Rashford in the team. He is so, so good. So let's look. 3-0. Did I expect that? No, I expected a few more goals. But like I said, if Ten Hag keeps on doing this and he keeps on rotating the team, and when he does rotate it and brings back Maguire and people like that into the team, and we still keep a clean sheet and we still win a game, then that's got to work well because we've just had that Palace game put in later on in the month we've got the Brentford game to fit in the Leeds game to fit in we're still in three cup competitions and we're in the league we've got a lot of games to play so rotation is going to have to happen quick word on Harry Maguire I thought he was good on the ball off the ball made a lot of mistakes so he needs to up his game a little bit but he has shown Ten Hag that he can be used in a squad that's two clean sheets but yeah Manchester United three Charlton nil on to the semi-finals bring on Saturday bring on the Manchester derby come on United come on United